Today, we're gonna paint a butterfly, kind of like the one we saw at the end of The Very Hungry Caterpillar Story by Eric Carle. It's so beautiful and it has lots of colors on it. So today, I'm gonna use crayons and watercolor paint, and we're gonna make a crayon resist painting. So I'm gonna start out by drawing his head and his body, and I put my paper sideways so that I have enough room for lots of wings. Okay, so I'm gonna start with his head, and I'm gonna push hard with my crayon, but not hard enough that it will break. So I don't want the paint to wash it away, but I don't want it to be so hard that I break my crayons. And I'm gonna give my butterfly a little face like that. Okay, then maybe I'll use purple for his antennas, and I'll give him some spirally, curly Q antennas up here. Okay, butterflies have two wings on each side, and they're symmetrical. That means they're the same on both sides, so whatever I do on this side, I also have to do on this side. So if I make the top wing, the fore wing, purple, on one side, I gotta make it the same on the other. Okay, then maybe I'll make the bottom one blue. This is the hind wing, the back wing. So I'll make that one the same on both sides, symmetrical. The same for the patterns. It has to be the same on both sides. So on this one, if I give this guy a big green swirl on the wing on that side, this wing also has to have a big green swirl in the same spot. That way my butterfly will be symmetrical. Maybe I'll give him some polka dots. And then maybe I'll give him some, hmm, how about wavy lines? You can make whatever colors and patterns you choose, as long as both the sides are the same. they'll show up on the paint if you push hard enough. Okay, now I'm ready to paint. All right, the paint will be the same as all the crayon designs. I can do whatever colors I want, except it has to be the same on both sides to keep it symmetrical. So if I start with red over this triangle part of his wing, on this side of the forewing, then on the other side of the four wing, he also needs to have red by that triangle. But after that, you can paint it however you want. Make sure to use lots of water so your watercolor paints will mix together easily. butterfly's all dry, you could bubble cut it out and mount it on a different colored paper so it looks extra colorful. I hope you had a great time today and that you love your butterfly. I can't wait to see them.